Okay, hi there and uh, welcome to a Synoptic Economics Revision video. This one is slightly left field uh, and it's going to focus on the micro and macro economic impact of the rise in drone usage. Drones are becoming an increasingly familiar aspect of life and work in the UK and many other countries, uh, playing a role in areas ranging from emergency services to construction and oil and gas. So this short video looks at some of the micro and macro impacts of increasing ownership and usage of drones. Here's a chart showing the projected worldwide market growth for commercial drones, drones used for commercial purposes rather than for private and personal pleasure. And you can see here that the market is expected to grow in tremendously in the next five years in particular, perhaps uh, uh, by 2025. Uh, over two and a half million drones in commercial use in a market worth more than $12 billion a year. So when you get a synoptic question, you're thinking about micro and macro aspects. So what sort of micro impacts uh, could we could we focus on? Well, you could you could decide to answer by thinking about the impact on the market for drones. So you could think about, for example, the potential for increased sales, revenues and profits, of drone manufacturers. Uh, you could draw cost and revenue curve diagrams to show the impact of a shift in demand there. Link also to consumers to what extent they will benefit if they're a commercial user of drones from falling prices, maybe bring in some economies of scale diagrams. The consequences of dynamic efficiency in the market would also be uh, a micro aspect. And you could then develop the analysis to talk about the possible cost savings for drone users, people using it for commercial reasons. For example, farmers being able to, to spray their crops using drones, replacing labour, uh, monitoring the fields and things. The utilities, the oil and gas sectors clearly could save millions of pounds, uh, in particular in terms of uh, being able to do their maintenance work much more cheaply and quickly. Another micro aspect would be to focus on the labour market. So you might consider, for example, the extent to which drone technology uh, replaces labour. We call that capital labour substitution. But equally evaluate it by thinking about the new jobs that will be created in both in drone manufacturing, in maintenance, in software, design, in training people how to use drones. A really, really good micro impact that a lot of students would focus on would be to turn their attention to potential market failure. So, you know, drones have a, have a range of positive impacts. So there could be some positive externalities from things like quicker access for emergency services, environmental protection, that kind of stuff. But equally, uh, there have been several suspected drone incidents, near misses between drones and aircraft, uh, the, ex the negative externalities from noise, privacy concerns, uh, safety issues, congested airspace, etc. Not, to, uh, not to, to forget the increased demand for lithium used in batteries that power drones, for example. So you could very easily talk about the market failure aspects and consider, perhaps as part of the evaluation, the extent to which drones have a net social benefit or, if your glass is half empty, a net social cost. The other micro aspect is the question of public goods. Drones themselves are not public goods, but the airspace in which drones fly can be regarded as a quasi-public good. Um, and in that sense, the extent to which governments should regulate the use of airspace for the benefit of the wider population. So the growth of use of drones certainly has many different micro aspects. And uh, depending on the exam board you're choosing, you might want to focus on one particular area for your analysis and your, evalu and your evaluation. With it being a synoptic paper, you also need to think about the macroeconomic effect. You can't go wrong if you go back to your main macro objectives and bring in some relevant points there. The extent to which, for example, uh, as countries use more drones, their trade balance might be affected. The majority of drones in the UK, for example, are imported. China is the biggest exporter of drones in the world. A good example of comparative advantage. I think one firm in China has 70% of the commercial drone industry uh, sales in the world. 
So drone, drone use initially could, could worsen the trade deficit. If you haven't talked about jobs in the micro aspect, perhaps bring unemployment uh, effects, unemployment impact into your macroeconomic point. Certainly the impact on jobs, I think, will be substantial. Uh, drones and related technologies, ro robots, automation, they're going to lead to many jobs becoming redundant. Uh, but equally, cost savings, higher productivity, consumer demand generated by drones, that's going to create new jobs. So it'll change both the level and the structure of employment. Perhaps a macro point could be to think about growth uh, aspects of drones, the extent to which drones increase productivity, uh, e.g. in farming and logistics, increased investment, uh, adding to long and aggregate supply. A very interesting aspect, if you get a question on developing emerging countries, is the potential role that drones can have in terms of basic human development. So lifting farm productivity, for example, being able to deliver health care, especially to remote areas. Ghana is a country that's gone for this big time with a big investment in drones to deliver basic health care to communities. Uh, the more efficient delivery of aid, use of drones to help conserve conserve wildlife to protect the property rights, which can have knock-on effects for tourism. Oh, another issue you could bring in is the question of inequality and equity. Who can afford the drones? Uh, are drones affordable to the average average person or to the average business? Who are, who are the biggest beneficiaries from this dr drone technology? Which stakeholders stand to make the biggest gains? And what, what's the impact on government finances, for example? To what extent can governments start to tax drones or the licensing of drone technology to provide new sources of tax revenue to help their public finances? Well, hopefully you can see here that drones is not an obvious example uh, to choose, but drone use is something which has a micro and a macro impact. And that's really the key in synoptic papers is to think synoptically and not to think in silos. Micro, macro, micro, macro. A lot of students find that difficult. Hopefully these short videos are giving you some examples of how you can think synoptically ahead of your, ahead of your exam. Okay, thank you.